let's talk about the electrochemistry so electrochemistry is nothing but generating electricity through chemical changes let's discuss more on this Here is the index I am going to talk about the electrochemistry introduction Conductors, inductors, semiconductors, metallic conductors, electrolytic conductors And uh, we are going to see the types of semiconductor One is intrinsic, the other one is extrinsic Under that N type and P type of semiconductors These areas we are going to look into So electrical conductivity is nothing but uh, the conduction of electricity or charges we are going to discuss on this so reaction of chlorine in flower pot what it will happen let's see oops it's gone so let's see further on the reaction of chlorine in flower pot and the fuel cells how the electricity is generated or charge is generated in the fuel cells you're going to look into those areas and also the transmission of a sensory signals through cells to brain how it's happening what is the process and we are going to look into the electronic conductors how it occurs and we are going to look into further on the n-type semiconductor how the n-type semiconductors are used in generating electricity and also used in circuit designing and this is your p-type semiconductor how the movement of holes and electrons are happening let's move on so electrochemistry is a study of protection of electricity from energy released during spontaneous chemical reactions and the use of electrical energy to bring about non-spontaneous chemical transformations so here is the example of spontaneous chemical reaction and here is the example of non-spontaneous chemical reaction so here is the reaction of chlorine in flower pot so I've already shown you how the chlorine and the flower it's are reacting you are able to see it it's shrinking The nature of the flower is gone. Now I am taking out. Here is the flower. It's died. So the reaction of fuel cells. A large number of metals, the sodium hydroxide, chlorine, fluorine, and many other chemicals are produced by electrochemical methods. Batteries and fuel cells convert the chemical energy into electrical energy and are used on a large scale in various instruments and devices. Here is the chemical reaction. The reaction carried out electrochemically can be energy efficient and less polluting. So you are able to see a picture which is indicating it's a 2D of the transmission of sensory signals through cells to brain. You are able to see the sensory neurons and it is processing. And this is internal neurons. Here is motor neurons to the muscles. Perception, sensory neuron. Processing, internal neuron and the muscles and gland stimulation motor neurons so study of electrochemistry is really important for creating newer technologies that are eco-friendly the transmission of sensory signals through cells to brain and vice versa and communication between the cells are known as electrochemical origin electrochemistry is therefore a very vast and interdisciplinary subject